There is a tremendous amount of enthusiasm about understanding how patient experience care in the real world. Historically, decisions about what patients receive by their health plan or the decisions that doctors and patients are making is based upon clinical trials. That's the type of evidence that's available when a drug comes to market. But increasingly, there's concerns that how a drug might work or not work in a clinical trial could be different in the real world. In the real world, uh, there are financial issues that b uh, bear on what happens. Patients don't just have a single illness, as they often do in a clinical trial, but they might have multiple illnesses on multiple medications. The reality of what happens in the real world could be quite different than cl the clinical trials. So there is a lot of excitement and a large amount of money being focused on collecting this type of information. Sometimes it's on the basis of observational studies. It might be mining large databases. Uh, it could be establishing patient registries. So there's many different ways that folks are trying to pull this data together. One of the challenges that we're focused on is that the enthusiasm level probably doesn't balance the readiness level. So lots of folks want these data and want it to advise best decision making, but the field is quite young. How should these studies be designed? How should these studies be analyzed? How should you take the results in conjunction with other types of evidence and put it into routine practice? So again, enthusiasm is there. How to actually do this is not quite there. There are many standards that are being developed for how to design studies and analyze them. But in essence, what we need is the Rosetta Stone that can bring all of these disparate standards together to say, okay, these are the most important elements. And what I am hopeful for is that over the next number of years, these types of standards will coalesce and it will become much clearer for researchers how they need to conduct these studies and it will be much clearer for the end user, the doctor, the patient, and the payers, again, how to decide which studies are worth considering and then how to bring that evidence together into those decisions.